on Wednesday. The International Well Building Institute announced that Yankee Stadium is the first sports and entertainment venue in the world to achieve the well health safety rating for facility operations and management. The Yankees have fulfilled rating requirements that serve as a blueprint for best operating procedures to help fight COVID-19 while also providing world-class standards for overall health and safety. For more, here's Chris Shear with Yankees Senior Vice President of Stadium Operations, Doug Beha. Are there any specific things that uh, you've installed to mitigate the risk of COVID-19? Because I know uh, a bubble situation has been talked about uh, come playoff time in New York could be one of those bubbles. So have you done anything specifically to mitigate the risk? Yes. Uh, thanks, Chris. One of the things we did, we thought uh, on top of our traditional cleaning and disinfection, if you will, um, we, we thought what were the best ways for us to provide some sort of disinfection at the appropriate levels in the important spaces that was non-invasive that we could do 24 seven. And what we landed on was a, a few things. And we, we actually first started and installed down in our um, spring training facility um, down in Tampa and uh, of course in our Himes complex as well. A, um, a low dose hydrogen peroxide system that uh, basically goes in, in duct in our HVAC um, and it, and it uh, creates a low dose hydrogen peroxide that kills uh, bacteria and pathogens in the air. Uh, it's obviously safe to, to people used in hospitals um, and we thought this was a good way to keep that going while our folks were in their trainer's room, in the locker room, uh, in the weight room, all of the you know player areas, or if you're familiar, obviously, with the tier one, tier two with MLB, in all of those spaces. So the umpire's room, any place where a, a tier one or tier two individual would be, uh, we've put that in place to, to really help mitigate uh, that the, a, any possibility. Are there any other specific protocols besides that in, in uh, designated areas for players like the clubhouse or the dugout? You know, the, the uh, Brian Cashman staff has been great and has embraced uh, these protocols from the very beginning. When we first started kind of developing this, we sat down with his entire team, his, his medical staff, uh, you know, the clubhouse staff, a anybody involved in this process and walk through what that could look like. Uh, we, we felt like we needed to engage everybody on this, go beyond what maybe just the housekeeping staff would do at night or in the morning. Uh, so the, the protocols we have in place where everybody involved, whether it's the strength coach or a head athletic trainer or a clubhouse manager, they're all involved in, in wiping down of surfaces, of freak, frequently touched uh, uh, surfaces as well, things that the players may use. Our players have been great in, in supporting that and, and participating in that as well. So we've, we've added those elements to uh, what we thought was already a good kind of program and, and feel like we've taken it a little bit further. And Doug, one more. Uh, how long do you expect to have those facility enhancements in place? You know, for us, it, it seems uh, too logical to not keep those in place forever. It's, it's, we're talking about uh, cleaning and disinfection. Uh, as, as Rachel mentioned, this, this kind of goes beyond just COVID-19. Uh, we have flu season upon us. We have other, you know, pathogens that are out there. And, and you know, it, we've realized it's, it's simple enough for us to do. It's safe enough for us to do. Uh, it's something that we see being in place uh, f for the future.